Woman refuses to take bag off seat. Gets taught a lesson. If you remove her, we'll have one more seat. Another passenger yelled from the back. Now things were about to go from bad to worse. Jessica watched as her face became drenched with entitlement. This is my personal space, the young woman screamed. No, it's not, replied another passenger. The officer was quickly losing his patience. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. When driving a car, the only people that you really have to worry about are the drivers. If everyone follows the rules of the road, then there really shouldn't be any issues. It's a story, however, when you don't have a car and you have to be a large crowds of people cram in the rain just to get to and from work. Similar to the roads, there are certain moments where the rules on the train. When one woman decided to break the rules, one on the train decided to give her a lesson in train etiquette. Jessica Hewitt was coming home after a long day. It was rush hour and she was racing to catch the train. Living in New York City, she had gotten used to the hustle and bustle of the streets. The long commutes and the constantly packed trains. She'd witnessed just about everything on the street. Or so she thought. Being a passenger on a packed train can be extremely uncomfortable, especially at peak times. Sometimes it's so bad that it's nearly impossible to find a seat. Common courtesy is that one person should only occupy one seat, leaving the others open for the rest of the passengers. Today, Jessica could not believe what she was seeing. By the time Jessica boarded her train, she was exhausted. She already anticipated some overcrowding, but she at least told her that she would find a seat to rest for her hour and a half long journey. She shoved past people standing in the aisle and looked for them. Walked over to the young woman and asked her if she could have a seat. Little did she know what was to come. When struck in a confined space and crushed by small people, there are many occasions where you might see someone doing something antisocial. In fact, sometimes they can just sit on the train and bring out the very worst. There are people who play the music loudly or shout conversations into their phones. But what this woman did on this train was so much worse. May I sit here? Jessica asked politely, gesturing to the empty seat. The woman had her large Louis Vuitton bag sprawled next to her, effectively taking up two seats and preventing other passengers from sitting down. It was about to come clear to Jessica that this one woman thought that she was above the rules of the train. The woman flat out ignored Jessica with ear <laughs> Of the crowd became the surrounding passengers and up or 
there isn't any space. No, there isn't space. There's standing room only. Jessica thought this woman must have been denying everyone to see her. There were so many people standing. Officer Dooley. She's getting more stern now. Ma'am, take off that bag or I'll take you off the train right now. Jessica would feel the anger of the crowd. She must have been acting in this entitled manner for a while. If you remove her, we'll have one more scene. the pastor yelled at the bag. But this just made me worse. The entitled woman then looks up and shouts to a pastor standing near her. You're not disabled, you're not pregnant, and I don't want your bed. I don't want your smell, you're disgusting. Jessica couldn't believe this woman's audacity. She obviously thought she was too good to be on the train in the first place. Well, she carried on. This is my personal space, the young woman screamed. No, it's not, replied her other passenger. Now the officer was quickly losing his patience. She continued, I don't care if I'm 90 pounds, 50 pounds, or 300 pounds. This is my personal space. Jessica suddenly understood why everyone was looking at her with such disdain. Meanwhile, the officer reached his boiling point. He had had enough. I want her off the train. Get her off the train, he said angrily as he waved his fellow men to escort her off. The young woman looked shocked, completely rattled that anyone could tell her what to do. You want your personal space? You'll have it outside. He declared as an eruption of applause and echoed an agreement from the master. The woman stared at the officer over the phone, looking incredulous that someone had called her on her rude behavior. Still, she wasn't back to wasn't about to back down either. Reluctantly, the woman sat and her seat until the other officer started to strike towards her. She rolled her eyes and shook her head as she rose from her seat and took her bags. She left the train with the officer with an attitude Jessica had never seen. Jessica wondered how someone could feel so entitled as to make other people stand for her. The video was posted online by a fellow passenger. someone who feels entitled, just plain selfish when you're eroded. While another added, when a whole bunch of strangers ask you to leave, you should know something's wrong. I'm glad someone recorded it. Her bad behavior will haunt her for a long time because of this video. It's not hard to be kind. One day, you're displays of behavior all around us. That's what makes us human, right? Seeing something bad and making it right. Please share this with your friends and family.